Okay, so right now I'm going to demonstrate the basic functions of the B&M Sports Shifter. It's just your typical park, reverse, neutral, drive, second, and first. I'm going to cycle through each gear and show you how it look. Right here you have park, reverse lockout. In this position, you have to lift up to place it in reverse. Now we're in reverse. From neutral all the way to first, just simply slide it back. Neutral, drive, second, first. Same applies when you go back up. Second, drive, neutral. Now right here is gonna lock again. So what you have to do, lift up, slide it back in reverse, now move it back up and park. I got the shifter mounted in. I had to use longer bolts so I can have the correct height when the console is on top of it. I mounted it in between these two nuts on each corner. That way I can adjust my height. I'm gonna set the console on top of it so you can get a better look. See now my shifter clears right here and also in the back. Right in there. At first, this part was touching the inside of my trim. Same as the front. It was like touching right in here. So that's why I made it adjustable so I can bring it down. Next up is mounting the cable. Making a hole for the cable to run through. And then routing it to the transmission and mounting my bracket. There we go. I put this bracket in the wrong spot, so I had to take it back off, and I'm about to put it in the right spot right now. Yeah, so you can see.
So here we go with everything hooked up. It is shifting properly. I'm about to put the console back together. Oh yeah. No more column shift. And don't worry, I'm getting rid of this column anyway, so don't worry about all them scratches and stuff. But yeah, column shift is gone. We flow shift now. So here's the console fully completed. I hadn't recorded this in a long time. It's been done for months now. I decided to go ahead and put the finishing touches on this video. So here it is, we all finished up. Look pretty good, it shifts good. Oh yeah. So I'm not quite done. I still have to hook up the indicator light right here and I got to hook up the neutral safety switch and the reverse switch down here on the bottom on this side of the uh, shifter that's about it once again that's a wrap for this video if you like it subscribe like comment let me know what y'all think about this